How's it going, boys? Johnny Superb Man here, and it's time for us to start up our NHL 14 OTP Tactics Series. For anyone new to the NHL franchise, and for anyone who wants to learn how to dominate the OTP lobbies, this series is for you. And up first, I'm going to show you guys how to play like the quarterback defenseman. Quarterback defenseman, the role of the quarterback defenseman is to advance the puck safely, cause no turnovers, and to control the offense. So let's not waste any time and get right into it. Now the most important thing that the quarterback defenseman has to remember is that he has to advance the puck safely, and that's the key word, safely. You have to be able to look two or three steps ahead and make the right decision, moving the puck from defense to offense. Look at this play right here. Our defenseman has the puck, and he does have an open center and an open right winger, but they're so far down the ice that by the time the puck gets to them, the defenseman that's shadowing them is going to be all over them. So watch this play. Our defenseman moves the puck up the boards to the right winger. Their defenseman sees it, and by the time our right winger grabs it, he's all over them. That's the defenseman's fault. You have to advance the puck safely. Here's the example of the exact same play but from the other side. Their defenseman moves the puck up and our defenseman takes out their winger by the time he gets the puck. That's not advancing safely and that's causing a turnover. When making that first breakout pass, you want to make sure of three things. First, that when you're passing to a player, he's not too far ahead of you. Second, that when you pass it to a player, he's got a decent amount of space when he gets the puck. And third, and almost mo most important, when you pass it to a player, you want him to have some sort of speed. Look at this play right here. Our left defenseman moves it up to the right winger, but when he gets it, he's flat-footed. He's got nowhere to go, and it's a neutral zone turnover. They come back the other way, and they're in our zone. You want to make sure that when you pass it to a winger, he's got some sort of speed and direction with that pass. Look at this play right here. Our left defenseman has the puck at the left boards. He's got two players hunting him down, coming right at him. The smart play would be to turn around and move the puck around the net if he needs it. Right now, he's only got one option, to move it up the boards to our left winger, but he's covered by their defenseman. So watch the play. He moves it up the boards, neutral zone turnover, and they gain our zone, and once that happens, I mean, you can blame everything on that turnover. Some bad defense, and the puck's in the back of the net. The best way to limit your team's neutral zone turnovers would be to control your offense. Put a leash on your wingers and your center. To do this, all you have to do is skate the puck from your zone to the center line and dump the puck in. This will limit your neutral zone turnovers, and it's very easy to do. You're only going to be facing one or two four checkers, and with all that ice, you should be able to skate left, skate right, find the open ice that you need, and dump the puck in. This is the best way to play defense while playing offense. You can create offensive chances with the dump and chase, but watch this play right here. This is more what you're going to see with, uh, with the dump and chase. Once you dump it in, right? You set up perfectly defensively. Their team picks up the puck, no problem, but watch. I'll freeze it for you guys. Our center and our two defensemen are behind their farthest player up the ice. It's perfect for defense. So watch, they break out and they can't. Our left defenseman picks up the puck, counterattack. We're back in the zone. The dump and chase did work. Back to the point. Now watch this. I'm right-handed. If I shoot it right away, it's going to get blocked. Take a step to the right and then shoot it low. Take a step to the right, low shot, rebound, goal, okay? Simple hockey. Dump it in, trap, low shot, goal. There's only one thing worse than a neutral zone turnover, and that's a defensive zone turnover. You want to make sure you don't have any of these. So get used to moving the puck off the boards, up to your wingers, around the net to your other defensemen, and also the puck chop, one of the greatest tools you can use against four checkers. Look at this play right here. Our defenseman going back to try to get the puck. He's got two four checkers right on him, another four checker around the net. So you can't go there. Where can you go? The right wing. That should be open. You puck chop it up to the right wing. The right wing is there. Puck is out of the zone, no problem. So you want to make that first pass out of the zone and using the puck chop or just simply passing it off the boards around the net is one of the greatest things you can do. It spreads out the other team and you know what, if they got dumb four checkers coming right at you, you'll get odd man rushes. I mean look at that, crap goal, but all caused by the quick passing. So now let's talk about controlling the offense in the offensive zone. This doesn't mean scoring, this doesn't mean one-timers, this means getting open for your teammates, getting the puck and giving it back to them, giving them a better position. Look at this play right here. Our center goes back to our left defenseman. He's right where he should be. He goes back to the center. But look, our center's looking for him again on the boards. He doesn't stay where he should be. He's trying to do something on the point. This is what you want to do as the quarterback defenseman. It's not about you. It's not about goals. It's about setting up your teammates. Our right defenseman gets the rebound. He gets it back down low. Now look where he goes. He simply stays on the boards. If the left or right winger need an outlet pass, 
they know they can find me here. Again, not goal scoring. It's about setting up your team. Now, if you're someone who does want to score goals, you just have to wait. Your chance will happen. I mean, look at this play right here. We draw the penalty. That gives you, as a defenseman, the green light to play offensively. Because if they touch it, the play's over, we get the power play. So look, as a defenseman, the right defenseman, I'm trying to get that puck. I don't want them to touch it. But look, I'm not trying to get the goal. I'm still the quarterback defenseman. I pass it to the center. I'm open for him. He gives it back to me. Now look, I sauce it to where he's going. Give it right back to him. Nice little give and go. Goal is scored on the delay penalty there will be chances to get your points you just got to be thinking defense first okay and that's the whole point of the quarterback defenseman you don't want to be having long breakout passes where it goes for icings causing those turnovers you don't want anything like that you don't want passing it up to your left winger not giving him plenty of space you want to focus on the simple things of hockey dump it in keep the play alive pass it to your teammates all right up to the left winger back to the point guy staying there creating space giving it to your teammates and quarterbacking your offense all right boys so there's the first episode of the otp tactics let me know what you guys think and i will see you in the next video